Capricorn. Hello. Welcome back to the Tarot Closet. Welcome if you're new to the channel. Thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. I'm very happy you are here and I'm very happy to be here channeling for you. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. Welcome to another Capricorn Tarot reading. Capricorn love tarot reading. Capricorn love reading. And as is very often the case here at the Tarot Closet, Capricorn love messages reading, channeled love messages from your person, messages from their higher self. I want to show you the energy that's coming in here. Look at that. So it's really clear. Gemini, Mercury, energy, all about communication. Planet of the mind, of course. Oftentimes connected to reading and writing. First of all, they, they want to communicate with you. I feel like they may be trying to communicate with you. There might be some energy of, of some stuff kind of coming in or deleting or unsending. Maybe something even already came in. They're working on this renewal. They're also working something out here. You know, this can be around some karmic debt. It's the strength card. It's Leo energy. It's also the source. And well, that eight, of course, is... A number of movement it's a number of action you know it's getting things done working on things and of course as you can see that's also infinity so this can be for some of you around your twin flame communication it's not for everybody for sure and this is not a twin flame specific zodiac reading but if those messages come through for you anyway that's a particular kind of love as well infinity it's a forever kind of love it's a deep connection and well that's also the truth, and that's also the renewal. And there's a strong energy here today, just in general, <laughs> of wanting to open up this lion's mouth and, and talk, which you're, you've been waiting to hear from, I feel, waiting to have a conversation, whether it's in person, on the phone, in messages, whatever. There's a strong chemistry between you, Capricorn, that feels like it, it can get very overwhelming at times. And interesting because as I was preparing your deck before your reading, because I do a lot of shuffling before as well, the star energy kept falling out, the star card, that's Aquarius energy and Uranus energy. And that's the hope for clarity and the hope for renewal. So I feel like there's, yeah, I mean, what needs to get cleared up? Is it a matter of just clearing something up and moving on together? Or is it just getting clarity in general and communicating? This is no contact no communication and or in separation. You know, and I got to tell you that eight, that is also manifesting abundance. They're really wanting to communicate with you. Has it already happened? Has it happened and then kind of disappeared? If you're here in real time, by the way, there's the moon energy coming through and it's here today. This is communicating and opening up in a new way. That crustacean here, look, it's blocking this emotional energy. There's a path here. Somebody's afraid of it and somebody's not. That's going to get moved out of the way. It's the sun and the moon here. Pisces energy, but Cancer and Gemini also coming through. It's communication. You know, the sun is the conscious, of course. The moon is the subconscious. So all that emotional energy, everything that's, that... I feel your person hasn't been sharing. They're really wanting to share. It's incredibly clear. Okay. And, you know, this is coming to a nine and that's, well, yeah, that's things coming to fruition. Receiving attainment, fulfillment, what is being, what is coming in here with that fulfillment energy? It's, it's communication for me and it's around feelings. And what I wanted to say is if you're here in real time, we're just coming out of Mercury in retrograde. So we're still going to have that energy going on for some time after in the shadow. And it can be that some stuff's been going on wonky with the communication really anyway in the this last month. And <laughs> to make, to add even more, <laughs> if you're here in real time, we're, com we're, we're out of the Cancer and energy, but we were just in the last moon of 2023, of course, the Cancer under Cancer, Cancer full moon. And it's just a lot of emotional emotions that I feel like have been brought up in particular with the time of year, you know, so you may not be here in real time and that's okay because it means there's still messages here for you. But if you are here in real time, I, I would be remiss if I didn't bring that energy forward because there is a strong feeling of, well, yeah, there's just, they're in a lot of feels. There's a lot of emotional energy. Look, the Eight of Swords is coming in again. 
the stuck energy here with communicating, working things out here in the Three of Pentacles, Mars and Capricorn. This is your energy, Capricorn. It's a collaborative energy, you know? It's coming together and like working together. You know, it's like one person can't do it alone energy. Yeah, this is really clear for me. Again, just in a lot of... And a lot of there, a lot of there's a lot of emotional energy here that I'm feeling today. All the decks that are coming in are linked below Capricorn. You'll find also all the playlists, of course, your zodiac readings, and they're connected to today's reading and all 12 zodiac signs. There are also all signs love tarot readings, and those are love readings. I'm going to show you this love readings for the collective. And yeah, those are not, if you're on a twin flame journey, zodiac readings, love tarot readings are not specific twin flame readings. You, you got a peak already. <laughs> but if your energy is coming through and you're picking up some messages, then most definitely, you know, then there's a message in the readings for you. In any case, if you're on a twin flame journey, there are also very long in depth twin flame readings below. So feel free to explore if you want to see what's going on, look, strength is back and here it's to communicate. This is just incredibly clear. Look, strength is back and it's, it's clear that it's clear, <laughs> pun intended, here to communicate. Coming here with the Three of Cups, Mercury and Cancer energy. Mercury, the planet of the mind. Yes, you're, you're on their mind. The planet of communication. This is, a, look, it's literally like as they struggle to communicate here to getting the strength to, I don't know, pick up the phone, send a voice message off, an email, social media. If you're not blocked, email, what is that? Because this is around that. And I want to tell you, so the Mercury energy, of course, that is the planet of the mind, the planet of communication, and it's oftentimes around reading and writing, so that's pretty strong. But this is also that celebratory energy of communicating, like really, really wanting to communicate with you. And it can't even be around person for some of you, in particular friends and family, which might really be resonating where, where we're at in this particular time frame. But again, it doesn't matter if you're here in real time. Whatever that's going to be, this is the energy of communication, working this out for the renewal. Look at that, the action here, coming here also with the truth, that infinity connects us to, to Libra, which connects us to justice. And that's the a balancing of the divine feminine, divine masculine energies within us all, within your person, to be truthful and clear with themselves so they can bring that forward to you. It's really clearly on their mind. The chemistry between you is really, I don't want to say off the charts. It sometimes is really emotion. It's really overwhelming how you feel about each other is what I'm hearing here. But manifesting this is really incredibly strong. Your reading is, your three of cups just uh, came in here. It just fell off the deck. That's definitely yours. And we're getting ready here to put down the rest of the cards. So this is just really clear. Three of Cups wanted to be in here and it wants to be your first placement. And of course, the Moon card came in here, the Moon energy, which Cancer is also here, but this is a Pisces energy and Gemini. This is just all about communicating, opening up. Strong emotions are here, Capricorn, a lot of strong emotions. I'm wondering if some of you during Mercury retrograde if you're here in real time, have seen some messages coming in and out, deleting, booping, that sort of thing. In any case, this is this is very clear here. At the bottom of the deck, look, it's the Knight of Wands. <laughs> so this can be a little bit of chaotic energy at times, you know, holding on to this wand. It's fast energy. It's the energy of love. It's around matters of the heart. It's sort of like they're they're getting ready to go here, you know, with the horse. Yeah, sometimes this resembles sort of like the the horses at the fair, you know, that is just going around and around. And that can be the case for some of you because it's coming through now, some cycling. I don't think it's for everybody. Little conflicting energy. They look a little bit scared here. I'm not really surprised because this crustacean is has been holding back. Look at all the emotions here. A lot of energy. They have been afraid of how they feel. They have been afraid of how they feel, and I feel like they've been afraid to communicate too, but really wanting to. You know, there's a repressed energy that's coming through. There's some some emperor energy. I feel like they've been holding back some emotions. And 
you know, kind of putting on a particular face, a little bit of ego and shadow coming through. But boy, when they're in it, they're in it, Capricorn. And that is what I'm feeling. So the Nine of Wands is disappearing. <laughs> we saw it. It came, it went. Maybe it comes back. I would really appreciate it if you took the time to like today's video and subscribe to the Tarot Closet if you haven't. Thank you so very much. Remember to take what resonates and let the rest go. And if you ever feel something's coming in vice versa, then that's how it is. Thank you, spirit guides, angels, and ancestors. Please show us the cards. I hope. The Four of Pentacles. Okay, interesting. So there's some apologetic energy here too. Look at that making peace energy here with the Five of Swords right below the moon energy. It's Venus and Aquarius energy. So can be some things that were said, even some things that were not said. It is around the fifth chakra, you know, and it, it's just, yeah, there's three people here. It can be that there's third parties, actually. It's coming through pretty strong for some of you. But it's not just about when I talk about third parties that it's a romantic connection. Now, there is something going on, and we'll talk about that here in the Four of Pentacles. But your person also is really in that energy because they have been holding back how they feel in a really big way, really stuck in their head. Anyway, this is apologetic energy, so I like that. The partnership placement we have coming through here, the Four of Pentacles in reverse. Oh yeah, so they're watching things here. And that Page of Swords energy, the Magician, the Ten of Swords in reverse. This is very much an apology that they've been holding on to as well. Holding on to this truth of how they feel and what they want to say to you. Page of Swords energy. It's kind of like a spying energy. And it's right where their energy is the strongest, Capricorn. And it's here with the Five of Swords in reverse. So that's also connecting to the Fifth Chakra, of course, in the way of not communicating. Wanting to, really wanting to apologize. You're actually asking for forgiveness. So what went on? They haven't let you go. So here's the thing. This is your energy. Four of Pentacles in reverse. Sun in Capricorn. And it's right here in the partnership placement. Interesting. And that's the sun here. And that's putting the sun in reverse. So it's a temporary energy. I feel you've been waiting to hear from your person. I don't think it's just about waiting just for an apology. But that is something in, in the way of communication that you've been wondering if you're ever going to get ten of swords in reverse really is asking for forgiveness this is clean slate energy and this is around this communication so again whether this is in person for some of you around even some friends and family or this is however it's coming through social media email whatever they're really really wanting to apologize they're afraid that they've lost you capricorn so i don't know what went on in this five of swords it feels like kind of a a big deal to them, which means it's probably a big deal to you too. And it's also connecting with this Four of Pentacles in reverse. And here's the thing, you know, this is, there's something else here. So whether that's location, work, money, cultural, religious, spiritual differences, timing, somebody's ready, somebody's not, somebody's available, somebody's not. They made some kind of decision here around that. They kind of chose something I don't know if, you know, kind of shows something over you. And as I say that, look what's showing at the bottom of the deck. It's the Seven of Cups in reverse. So that can be an energy of just commitment issues. And that's what they were choosing to hold on to not being committed, whatever it is, you know. That's also an energy of just a lot of other things. Like they were stuck here, you know, choices. I mean, look at this. And that's, there's an element of timing here, controlling that Seven assessing this here, being stuck here forever, controlling what you can, letting go of what you can't. So there is some timing here and there's a lot of various choices, of course, that, that could have been coming through. This is showing it us in reverse. So this is an energy of clarity, an energy of, yeah, they're getting some clarity here and we already saw that and they're wanting to bring that to you, the truth and the clarity that they're holding on to watching for some of you it might be around there's some friends and family energy connection so getting information on you interesting but for a lot of you maybe if you haven't blocked your person on social media there might even be some googling going on they're afraid that they have lost you or maybe are losing you it's a very vulnerable energy it's kind of like a it's like a bankrupt energy. Interesting, because I, I'm going to move this, by the way, the Seven of Cups. We saw it. It came. It went. Can't even be that. It's around some money issues. That's interesting. But look at the magician here, catty corner, with this. 
So this is what's on their mind. This is manifesting soulmate energy. As above, so below, taking inspired action and really just alchemizing everything that has gone on. And we saw that with the strength card, which came down twice. So really wanting to, really needing to work something out, I'll tell you that. So in their life, in their head, what is that? But also just kind of that completion energy for the two of you to the renewal, because things have just been left unsaid, left undone, clearly. There's a lot that they're wanting to say, and it's come through from the get-go, and it's still very strong that they're wanting to communicate with you. And, you know, that's the renewal. That's the new cycle. That's obviously the end of a cycle, the completion of all of that, and something new beginning here of the renewal. Connecting us again to Libra with the truth. The balancing of the energies, big time here. And... Well, yeah, alchemizing everything that happened here with the magician energy, alchemizing the past energy, the current energy, and setting things up for you, I feel, because it's just what has been happening. It's really, really, really clear for me that they want to send an apology through. So that's coming through here right now. I love that. And whether you're going to get that in the 3D or not, or maybe some of you already have, but it's getting what they want. It's manifesting you energy here. And that one, of course, is a lot of the potential that is still here. And that's also the opportunity that needs to arise, I want to say, to, to say what they want to say and communicate. And for some of you, that's quite literally around an in-person meeting. Maybe they're even, I want to say, kind of planning it out. I don't think it's for everybody that it's in person, but they are definitely here figuring out how to get this communication going. It's It's been incredibly clear from the start. And again, here with the Three of Cups as well, around timing, divine timing, communication. Really incredibly clear. So whether somebody's just been, your person, I want to say, completely blocked with communicating, why? Not ready to communicate, not ready for commitment. We saw that in the Seven of Cups in reverse. Too many choices. So somebody available, somebody not. Somebody ready, somebody not. Timing feels like it's a really big, it's really big here. But there's also some kind of trigger with why they're feeling like they've lost you. So I'm wondering for you if you are, yeah, this is clean slate energy. They want an, a, this is a clean slate energy here, Capricorn. Wanting another chance. So what I wanted to say here is whether they've seen something. I'm wondering if they've seen or heard something because they're keeping an eye on you. They're either getting information or they're from other people online or they're getting it for, for they're finding a way to get it. But they are have you gotten really quiet? You know? Have you just been not communicating a lot of things with a lot of people, maybe even for some of you on social media, or maybe you put something out there that is the opposite, that has them freaked out because they're here watching and waiting and imagining here there's a strong energy of wanting to communicate and you can see that it's going to be happening. You know, it's just a matter of when. And if there's a strong apologetic energy in that, the, the clean slate energy here with the fool and the ten of swords in reverse is my sign for... Yeah, alch literally alchemizing it all. Just not just getting, not just ignoring it, but really communicating and communicating it all and leaving it behind, leaving all that stuff behind. So the, the past, the baggage, not bringing it into the new beginning here, whatever that means, whether it's just talking again, seeing each other, whatever that is, we need some more exactly what this new beginning is, but they're manifesting that. And we saw that they're working on that renewal and the strength card coming in twice. Working on this apology, I feel like it's a whole lot more. Again, the fool's journey, taking a chance, having hope for this new beginning. There's just a little bit of fear around that. That's what it is. It's the judgment energy in reverse and the hierophant. In reverse. Interesting. Okay. So, first of all, as we talked about the fear, this is it. This is kind of, this is literally fear of change and judgment. A little bit of weakness, I want to say. And I don't love, I don't mean it like that, you know, but we also saw the strength card coming in twice. And that is really trying to harness that 
get into that energy, that courageous energy to work something out that's going on in their life. Something karmic cycle that they're in, some karmic lessons they need to learn, some karmic debts to be paid. What is that? It's there, you know? I feel like there's a decision they made around that that played a part in why you're not talking or seeing each other, maybe again, both. And that's validated for me here in the Hierophant in reverse because this is going against that. The Hierophant in reverse, divine masculine energy, is kind of going against some expectations, traditions, convention, conformity, things that are expected of them. So it can be there's people just even expectations in their head around cultural, religious differences. It can also be that there's people around them. They're trying to work this out. This is a, a card of commitments and contracts and partnerships. It can also be marriage. You know, it's slow moving, sort of like paperwork possibly involved. And it's connecting here with this judgment energy, which as we were bringing in the message, it was loud and clear. It came out in reverse. This is Archangel Gabriel, the angel for messages, the herald of visions, you know, Pluto energy, get some clarity, make a decision, wake up. What are you doing here? We see what's on their mind, what they're wanting to do, communicate, but we also see they need to work something out in order. I feel like for things, for the renewal renewal something needs to get worked out here but really wanting to communicate with you whether again whether it's already coming through or it's coming through or we have to wait you have to wait I, you know let's keep moving here but this is really clear some fear of change around this hierophant in reverse so it's around some contracts partnerships commitments and it can be to and it's here it's right here and they're apologizing here too look there, there's literally apologetic energy here around this decision that they've either made or they're afraid to make. They're also afraid that they're going to lose you. They don't want to lose you. Maybe they already have for some of you. But I tell you, it's there. It's here. Whatever is here that's that has them kind of afraid to change things, because this is also the bad decision here, you know, around it. And they're trying to break away from something, change something here with some contracts. So whether it's romantic other people, I want to say third party energy, which is also here. There are three people here in this five of swords. So I'm wondering also if there's another situation, another person or persons who are kind of have some kind of hold. Perhaps. Yeah, because that can sometimes be around some, some, uh, I want to say conflicting energy, you know, even some arguing that sort of thing. I think there have been some things that they've said and they do want to apologize, but they also, I feel like, want to tell you the truth about something here. Interesting. So that connection, I, I heard karmic connection, and it can be around romantic, but it can also be, you know, again, that there's expectations around how they're supposed to be living their life, with their, which they're trying to break free from. They're trying to break some contracts here. Work expectations around how they're supposed to be living the choices that they make cultural religious differences what is that they're afraid they're afraid but they're sending this through there is a soul connection here and they're manifesting this and they really want to get this information to you so i feel like a lot of that is coming through here right now really wanting to communicate and i feel like that a message or something is if it hasn't already come through it's most likely going to be coming through onward from now especially if you're here in real time getting out of mercury in retrograde but that renewal we saw was incredibly clear of of in that strength card that they're trying to work out it's incredibly clear here in judgment and reverse in the hierophant energy Okay. Yeah. So one of the things that I was hearing when I was delivering those messages, which felt really intense for me, by the way, was that they love you. And I thought, why well, can't bring that forward? Let's get some, let's get some more in here. So they're making sure that they get to tell you that, that they love you. Now they already, <laughs> I was already supposed to tell you that they love you. But like I said, I just, I was communicating in my head that I we need more. And it's a validation. This is Cancer energy. It's Venus in Cancer energy. Soulmate energy is strong for some of you. It's around your twin flame and communication in a karmic situation. Again, it's not for everybody for sure, but of course I want to bring that through. This oftentimes can be around proposals. It can even be around marriage proposals. Do I feel like that's happening here? 
again, I need to have a little conversation <laughs> that it's not real clear that it's going to be marriage. It could be. We see here that they're manifesting you in here and getting ready to trying to end this no contact, no communication and or in separation. It's really clear. They have an apology for you. So I'll tell you what that is in there. Could it also be for some of you that it's around, let's talk, let's see each other. Yeah, because the Three of Cups is also here. So for some of you, that could be not that you see them in person, but that there's a plan to see each other in, in person. Again, it's around the communication. So that's also just around the communication that they're trying to have. They look, they're totally, something is going on in a situation that they're, they're overwhelmed by. They're stressed, they're exhausted. There's a lot going on. They're also wanting to put them down. You know, they really are working hard to end that cycle and complete it and have renewal in their life. They're just, you know, this Ten of Wands is up against judgment and hierophant in reverse, divine masculine energy. And by the way, we saw the high priestess coming in, didn't we? And that's the intuitive decision and the revealing that they want to do. So that's real clear. But that's also kind of like a crisis in the connection. You're both very... There is a very strong soul connection here today. And I feel like you're both and you're in separate separately trying to to decide where what to do. It feels like I don't know, like it's a lot bigger maybe than maybe bigger than I'm even realizing. In any case, that I love you was really strong and there's that decision as well. The 5 of cups the chariot is coming here in reverse. A lot of emotional energy here today. You know, it's connecting with the four of cups in reverse, the two of cups, the five of swords in reverse, the full card. Here's the thing. We know that this is no contact, no communication, and or in separation. You know, this is cancer and energy. It's the moon energy. It's having trouble moving, you know? So... There, there, that Leo energy, that strength energy, this is yours. We're going to look at it in a moment. Was really clear for me that they are really trying to work something out in order to come. I feel like it's also for some of you, maybe there was also something here where you were supposed to meet, you know, but this is the energy. Of, it's kind of like car troubles. That can actually be the case for some of you, but you know, and even m travel in, in terms of like locations, you know. It's a lot about the emotional energy. It's the moon and cancer energy. And um, the moon here is in reverse. And that's the clarity that they have. And it's the truth coming to you. And it's what they're trying to bring to you. It's just timing is somehow playing a really big part here. This is a seven, you know. And that's also around some control control issues, you know, and it's controlling what you can, letting go of what you can't. It's around some timing here. And they're really apologetic. So it's also having not been able to move forward. Can it also be around this two of cups? Of course, but it's coming here around the apologetic energy and just letting you know that they're sorry. They haven't let you go. They know they made a bad decision here. And no. there's... <laughs> Luckily, I think it just ended as I picked up your Five of Cups. This is Mars and Scorpio energy. There's a lot of regret. They regret, and we're going to get that card still. So they do regret leaving you how they left the connection or what may also have been said or not said, but feeling like that, that they don't love you because they love you. Loved you, love you. I feel love you because I heard that, and there was a validation. They made sure that this, they got to be able to say that to you. So there's the regret here in the Five of Cups. There's a lot of regret for, for I don't know if they ghosted you, but there is an abandonment energy leaving you feeling like they didn't love you. They're missing you. They're feeling this too. And look, still in each other's energy, you're still, you still love each other. And it's also here in the Five of Cups. So that would have come through anyway, I feel. The Three of Cups here, look at this. I'm just realizing that. Well, yeah, you know, it's here as well. So that's the Mercury and Cancer energy here within the Five of Cups. That's the communication. Planet of the mind, the planet of communication. So definitely some things I feel 
were said or maybe again even unsaid but it feels like because it's also sort of like waiting for communication and like kicking them over and it's emotional so this can be recent for some of you but it's also just the energy that of loss that's still here it's the it's still feeling sad around it you know but those three of cups here are knocked over and that's again that's the the energy of communication here and so it can be for some of you that there were some things that were said because they are apologizing. I feel like they're also wanting to tell you about something else around another, again, in some kind of karmic situation that they're in. But in any case here, they regret it. So they regret hurting you big time. Those cups are knocked over. They regret leaving you feeling like they didn't love you. And this was kind of like knocking out the contact. You know, like the cups knocked over here, all the, all the, what was inside of it, all the emotional energy spilled. They still love you. You still love them too. And they really want that to be communicated through to you now at the very least. Not being able to, yeah, I mean, look at this. Not having been able to follow through. They're all so sorry about, and we see here too that things are still, it's kind of like the chariot engine being revved up. Well, that's interesting. These are both coming through. Look at this. Wow. So yeah, this decision that we saw when the high priestess came in, it could have been that that was a reversal energy. In any case, I know they want to make the decision to tell you how they feel and tell you that they love you and that they're sorry. Um, also for this, look. So it's the nine of pentacles in reverse. That's That's kind of like the... Well, that's the trouble in the connection. So whether you were in a long-term connection, you were building it or it was on the table, something obviously happened here. You know, at setbacks. It can't even be, there's just some, what is, what is going on in that situation? I feel like, because one of the pentacles here is yours, you know, it belongs here. And the queen of pentacles is holding on to that. And I really like it because it's a really healing mother earth energy. She's the... I kind of feel like the protege to the empress, you know, coming in here emotionally available, wanting to be honest, wanting to help make things work here because she's very resourceful and can make connections, you know, pentacles grow. She can make things work that were not working. So I really very much like this coming here with the nine of pentacles. It's around some timing here, big time, because there's some decisions, I feel some big decisions. There's something they're trying to... And this can also be you, but change, release, contracts, break, that they're having trouble with. You know, because it's, it's connected also to the chariot in reverse of why things haven't been moving. It's here, and the hierophant in reverse, and the judgment in reverse. And this decision around it, look, the two of swords wanting to go there as well. Moon and Libra energy. You know, and it's some in, in, some confusing energy. It's some indecisive energy. It's kind of feeling overloaded. There's a lot of emotional energy here, Capricorn. I also feel that they're just trying to sort through because they're really in their feels for you and wanting to communicate. But there's something that they're trying to change here that's keeping them from from keeping you from each other, but maybe even keeping them from saying everything that they want to say. And this is really... On their mind I feel this is also an energy I feel of you here there's kind of like a a forlorn energy you know looking down at this pentacle kind of waiting because this is matters of the heart and new beginnings here connected right to the nine of pentacles of things not moving and the high priestess came back look and came back in reverse came back in reverse here so yeah there's Trouble, I want to say, making this decision. But your, your soul connection is incredibly strong and incredibly clear for me here in the High Priestess, the counterpart of the Hierophant, Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine Energy. So it's both an indication of the imbalance, I want to say, around your person and, and to make some what feels like not just a decision to communicate. That is also feeling hard. Uh, it's not for lack of love, I'll tell you that, but some bigger decisions some releasing of this just feels yeah like there's 
I don't know, it's difficult. They're really, look at this, I just realized, putting judgment right in between the two of you because you're also here. And we all have divine feminine and divine masculine energies, you know, within us all. So it's not, it, it can be for some of you that you're, you're resonating with, I'm a divine feminine and they're a divine masculine, vice versa, of course. But it's also just about the energies here. With that said, you're both here. And judgment is right in between you. And that's Archangel Gabriel, not able to do very much at the moment because, yeah, somebody's afraid of making some big change. They're trying to work it out. I'll tell you, you saw that in the strength card. And I have to say, for some of you, maybe that pentacle here, whatever it is that, I feel like has been keeping things from moving is just simply around this energy of commitment, something higher, marriage for some of you, moving in, something bigger. Because, you know, it's it's in reverse here, the high priestess, and not not going into that intuitive energy and making this decision, being kind of like stuck around it, you know, indecisive, which has been coming through really clear. The clarity of how they feel is just no question for me. Also, even with that Seven of Cups in reverse we saw, look, it's pretty clear. But the Hierophant, again, is a really strong energy of commitment here, and it's in reverse, and they're afraid. So are they just afraid to take the next step for some of you? Yeah, that's here. Is there something around that, why things stopped moving? Yes. So for some, it is just around the commitment, for others, that pentacle is something else. It's around cultural, religious differences, other people, interference. The Empress in reverse is coming in. You know, we have the Queen of Pentacles here, sent by the Empress. You know, she's like the protege here. Really, this is what's on their mind, really very much. But we're also seeing here, it's around, there's some timing stuff going on here, Capricorn. It's really a big deal, divine feminine energy and divine timing, communication. So we know that's not happening. We know that there's been an emotional unavailability, which they're really wanting to share, that they love you and that's coming through here. They really do want to communicate. There's just a fear. I don't know if it's just, a, again, around commitment next level or there's other things here. It's, it's really the bottom line. The Empress, I, I will tell you, it can be that there's other kind of dependence. There might be for some of you other people and other people involved. So that is here for those of you that resonates for. The main thing here is the Empress has access to water, air, earth, and fire. And it's sort of like limited here. Like it's not being able to access that, you know? For this new beginning it's really just what they want what they want what they can do or will do are just very different you know i see what they're trying to do here i don't know if it's just this fear around them or if whatever they're afraid to change is around other people and connections but they love you, Capricorn, that much is clear. They love you, and they really want you to know that. And for some of you, you may have had some, I want to show you what's here, and we're going to move on to Oracle. You may have had some communication already coming through. It's coming through strong here today, so I really want to see what's going on with your channeled love messages. But it can be that it's going to be coming in as well. I want to say, you know, Again, phone call, message, that sort of thing. So look at the bottom of the deck, how the tarot is coming to a close here because we're going to bring in some more cults. The Wheel of Fortune, Leo, Scorpio, Taurus, and Aquarius energy. It's around timing here. So there is a turning point. And we saw that with the Strength card coming in twice. We see that here with the Magician card, the Manifesting Energy. That's, they're working something out. Something is getting worked out here. Fate, destiny, controlling what you can, letting go of what you can't. M massive timing here. But also your connection. This is around some information. So I do feel that there is going to be some communication here. It's been really clear from the get-go. There is a deep soulmate connection here. There's a Six of Cups energy, Sun and Scorpio energy. So for some of you, you may have known your person since childhood. 
but it can also just feel like that. There is the soul connection is really incredibly strong here today of just that feeling that you've known each other forever. I want to bring in some Oracle. So I'm not reading Oracle in reverse right now. I don't know. I just haven't been feeling like it. We're shuffled and ready to go. And I want to show you what's at the bottom of the deck. So the inner visions. It's a lot of what's going on here. Kind of like feel like it's like a crisis, you know, with the Hierophant in reverse, Judgment in reverse, and then the High Priestess in reverse. It's also bringing in some Hermit card energy, Mercury and Virgo energy. Where you go for clarity, a quest for personal truth, spiritual illumination. So there's a really strong connection here. I feel like it's really ongoing for a, a long time. So whether that, again, is in chronological years or that's the soul connection coming through, it doesn't feel like something that is, it feels that there's a lot more to what's going on here than just, yeah, look at this, than just commitment issues, you know? I think it's a lot more than that. Rooted. So this is also connecting for me. And yeah, something that, something, the root, you know, the, there's two things I want to say here. <laughs> so there's some commitment issues for some of you, and that's just all it is. I, I think it's really a lot more than that, but it did come through. What it feels a lot more like is whatever's going on in this Hierophant in reverse and even in the Empress in reverse here, you know, a lot of that energy of things that they're trying to change here that they're afraid to change. So whether that's connected to just commitment issues or a whole lot more, a karmic situation, or just for some of you, clearly the fear of this really big love because this feels like a big love. This is a big love. There's a lot of emotional energy and a lot of emotions they've been holding back. They love you. You love them. So for some of you, this, again, there's just some different scenarios kind of, you know, situations I feel going on here because you can also see that fear of this major commitment, kind of being afraid of the emotions here, wanting to share them, sending it through that they love you. So what is that? You know, commitment issues, lots of other choices. And this is also connecting with that laying roots down. Look, there is a bouquet here. You know, and that energy here of the Two of Cups, some type of proposal energy connecting right here with the Wheel of Fortune. Messengers coming through. So here's the thing. <laughs> it's been really strong for me in my readings this week of if you're connected via social media there might be something going on with messenger <laughs> so that's just a real literal message <laughs> pun intended for you not for everybody but this is also about the message they're trying to send for some of you this is a validation of the long distance energy but look there's a writing of it here there's all the star energy here. There's kind of like newspaper, you know, like news coming through here, also connecting us to the Wheel of Fortune. A lot of what's going on in this connection has come through today, but a lot of the takeaways that I have for you and that I think you've, you're still here, you're feeling as well, is that they really are wanting to communicate with you. And for some, they maybe already have. Again, divine messenger as well. And it's connecting right here with Judgment, the Hierophant and the High Priestess in reverse. Really just, yeah, there's, there's, there's a kind of feel like a, like a spiritual crisis. You know what I mean? Because you love each other. So what the heck's going on anyway? Listening to the divine messages too. This just came right after it. Look, whispering in both of your ears. It's right here on the moon energy as well. We're coming out of the moon energy, the two of you here. Also the communication. Because this is no contact, no communication, and or in separation, and it's really clear here. And I think you're both still very much here. Like I said, this feels like something much bigger than just somebody who's afraid to commit. Then again, that can be what's going on here. The growth card is also coming through. And I want to move the energy and it's going here with the Nine of Pentacles in reverse, but connecting here with the Queen of Pentacles.
Okay, that's not surprising at all. Yeah. Yeah, so the success energy has come through. It's butterfly, it's transformational, but it's also, you know, coming from the dark into the light. So it's information too. I think there's going to be a communication here. It's pretty strong. It really is around timing. Everything else here is just clear to me that you love each other. They're needing to work something out here just to even get this message to you. But around this connection, it does not feel over to me, Capricorn. It feels very rooted. Divine timing came here. Transformation, divine timing. Interesting inner child and communication. So this inner child energy is kind of really connecting for me with the higher font and the judgment energy. Strong. Again, so some issues. It's shadow and ego, you know, and I was feeling the emperor energy and we got the empress in reverse, which is also not surprising because that's just that long-term energy and it's the strong connection between you, the other half, because we also see that with the higher font and the high priestess, but the center child of shadow work and things needing to be worked out. So it can literally just be around your person, you know, and the, the issues with commitment for some of you, but either way, it's also just still connecting with some of these issues that are needing to get worked out. It's connecting strongly with that strength card coming down twice. Divine timing. Here around communication, look at this. It couldn't be any clearer. It just landed on inner vision and growth. So there is some earth energy here. Capricorn, there's also water energy here and air. Look, you can see that the trees are kind of moving here. So communication around this connection, for sure, and emotional. They really want to tell you how they feel. It's been really clear, and they've already said that here. It is around divine timing. The timing issues have been incredibly strong here again. So somebody's ready, somebody's not, somebody's available, somebody's not. Some things need to be worked out here. That's just an, in an incredibly clear message. It just revealed balance below the success energy. I mean, balancing of the divine feminine, divine masculine energy is also connecting us, of course, with Libra energy, the lack of balance in those energies. So things not really moving forward for the renewal, also connecting us to the renewal. And by the way, the elephant is a Taurus and it's connecting to some family energy, but also a strong energy to push through some obstacles. You know, the trunk upright is considered good luck and new beginnings. It's not upright, but it's getting ready to. It's kind of curled under, you know, when they release it with the water. This is around communication, but changing a lot of things here. Look, the successful energy is going here. Again, the communication came down, and this has really been incredibly strong throughout your entire reading. And the transformation energy is here. Look, it's one stem with two flowers coming out. Timing is also an issue, was an issue playing a part in why I feel like this chariot couldn't get moving. The thing is, is look, they're right here on a train track. And if this train comes, it might go over these flowers here. So there's, there is this kind of this energy of, of timing that's here. This is also a postal kind of message, you know, post. So that's around the message, that's around the communication and a validation for those of you that are, are in a long distance energy. It's also a skull and it's transformation, the card. So it's bringing in death card energy, Scorpio energy of changes, transformation. This feels like some something really major and some major, this conversation, some major resolution here, whether that's reconciliation or closure. I will tell you, though, the love has come through from the beginning, and I didn't listen earlier because I felt like it wasn't, it just didn't, I don't know, I wasn't listening. And then I I got told off, really, because they took over <laughs> and sent it down themselves. So that much is clear, Capricorn. I want to know what they have to say in channeled love messages, messages from your person. There's so much left unsaid here. There's so much that you want to say to each other. There's so much you don't know, I feel, too. There's a lot that they don't even know. 
you're very connected. It will be, I feel, a really revealing communication. Again, whether it's a conversation or messages, I made so many mistakes. That's a lot of the regret in the Five of Cups. Also here, judgment in reverse. I mean, that's a bad decision. And the Four of Pentacles in reverse. I want to be honest. Yeah, really strong here. Look, they've been in that Hermit card energy, you know, getting some clarity, personal literally just going in there a quest for personal truth spiritual illumination it, I think they're still there I kind of feel like you're both still there they want to be honest about how they feel that's clear but I, I feel like whatever's going on here too what is that other pentacle you know do you miss me too so I say that so they had sent and I miss you and they're asking you if you miss them we are soulmates two of cups I'm sorry I wasn't there for you. More Five of Cups. This is a faded connection. That's the Wheel of Fortune. You are my other half. Soulmate energy is really strong here today. And if you're on a twin flame journey, that's here. It's not a twin camera just died. It's not a twin flame reading, of course, but if you're on a twin flame journey, and uh, you're obviously picking up some messages. Your energy is here. I was stupid. Judgment in reverse, but also five of cups. There's a lot of regret here. Also, is somebody working too much, you know? It's kind of all, a little bit of energy I'm hearing too for some of you, maybe of somebody giving that other pentacle more time. So is it work or money? Could be, of course, another person. I'm so sorry I hurt you. That's also the Ten of Swords here. And there's a message in that as that came through. I was uh, sent the message with balance that they're trying to work it out. I made so many mistakes. Yeah. I'm so sorry I hurt you. I made so many mistakes. My heart belongs to you. More Two of Cups energy. It's connected here with Rooted. You know, there is just a, I don't know, again, whether you were in a long-term commitment, you were building it, or it was on the table, kind of like a pin it for later, that energy, the connection is still there. It's just there. There's just a connection that you have, whatever you're planning to do. I mean, High Priestess Hierophant, you mean a lot to me? I think of you all the time. Your last channeled love message, message from their higher self. You inspire a love in me I never knew. So that's the magician energy. Capricorn, what a ride. Thank you so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed your reading. And if you did, I would really appreciate it if you liked today's video and subscribe to the Tarot Closet if you haven't. Thank you so much for being here today. I'm sending you so much love and light, hoping for the best outcome for you. And I look forward to seeing you at another reading. Until then, bye Capricorn.